Hello, <clears throat> hello everyone, and welcome back to my Senate election prediction videos, where I take a look at Senate elections going on across America in 2022. And today we are going to look at the state of Connecticut, a seat currently held by the Democratic Party and Senator Richard Blumenthal. Blumenthal is in his second term. In 2016, Blumenthal's margin of victory was 28%. In 2016, Hillary Clinton won the state of Connecticut with a margin of victory of 13%. Joe Biden in 2020 won the state of Connecticut with a 20% margin of victory. So Joe Biden did 6% better in the state of Connecticut than did Hillary Clinton. As I said, Richard Blumenthal is the incumbent senator and one unopposed. Prior to becoming a senator, Blumenthal served as Attorney General of the state of Connecticut and has served in various political positions throughout the state for many decades. Uh, Blumenthal has become a particular object of scorn for former President Donald Trump due to exaggerated claims that Blumenthal made for years about his service in Vietnam. Blumenthal um, also has um, the distinction of being a relative of a famous uh, aide to the Clintons, Sidney Blumenthal. Um, and this also, of course, makes him a public enemy number one of Donald Trump. His Republican opponent is uh, Leora Levy. Uh, Miss Levy uh, won the Republican primary over a more moderate candidate, um, but Levy had the backing of former President Donald Trump. Uh, so, as I've made the point in many videos before in this series, um, in the federal races, especially in the federal races, sometimes in the state races it does not matter as much, but in the federal races, it's almost a fait accompli, um, especially in the Senate races, that whoever Donald Trump endorses is going to get the nomination. Uh, so, uh, Leora Levy is the Republican nominee. Um, Miss Levy is very conservative and uh, holds hardline positions on many issues. Um, but this is going to be an easy one to call. Uh, Richard Blumenthal will easily win a third term in office, and this will be a hold for the Democratic Party. 